In this video we're going to look at Inkscape which is a really cool program to make posters and anything else that you need for your projects. Before we get going we're going to have to fix the toolbars. You can see we've got a toolbar on the left here, some at the top and some at the right. And what I'm going to do to begin with is press on view and click on this word default. What that does is it moves a toolbar from this side here to the top and it's a lot more useful there for what we're going to do. Let's quickly draw a rectangle and a circle. The rectangle is blue, the circle is red. Now the rule of Inkscape is that no matter what happens, as soon as you draw a shape, type some text or do anything, you go up here and you click on the black arrow. It's really important that you do that, otherwise you won't be able to move things around. What we want to do first of all is just make the rectangle a little bit bigger and that's really easy to do because I've clicked on the black arrow and then I've clicked on the shape I can simply pull and push these arrows and make this rectangle exactly the way I want it to be. I can do the same thing for the circle move it, resize it in any which way I want to. Now let's say I wanted to rotate or turn an object what I would do is click it once and then click it twice you can see the resize arrows have changed into these rotate arrows and now I can just grab one of them and rotate this shape any which way I want to. I could do the same for the circle, you just won't be able to see me turning it unless of course I do that. So one of the most confusing things about Inkscape is how to move things backwards and forwards. So let's say I wanted to move this red circle behind the blue rectangle I would go to my toolbar here and click on one of these buttons. Now this button would send the red circle to the back and this button will send the red circle to the front. If you wish, the bottom and the top. Think of it like bits of paper and moving one to the top of the pile or to the bottom of the pile. And that's a really quick introduction into Inkscape and how to use some of the toolbars and some of the tools.